Hi, I wanted to make a video for users who are very familiar with spreadsheets and how to migrate those skills over to the world of Python. So don't let this be intimidating. This will be a very good introduction to Python for you. So if we look at this spreadsheet in Excel, it's just a normal CSV file. We have columns and we have rows and that exists in Python too. We call that a data frame. So a data frame is a two dimensional structure which has um, observations or variables. So we would see variables for each one of our columns and observations for each one of our rows. So let's begin by getting this spreadsheet inside of our Python notebook. If you haven't installed Python, uh, I'll put links in the instructions. I, I would recommend you installing Anaconda and uh, that comes with a couple different ways you can access Python. One is through Jupyter Notebooks, which is very popular, and there are some other uh, development environments such as Spider. So what you're looking at is a Jupyter Notebook, that, and the first thing we want to be able to do is import the different packages that we can use that can help us analyze or almost act like our spreadsheet platform. The number one library for analysis is called Pandas. So we're going to import the Pandas library and use functions within that the same way you use a function in Excel like sum and average. We can do the same things within Pandas. So once you have this open, we're going to import our pandas library. So, so I can import pandas like this, but to shorten it, I'm going to save it as PD, which is a variable for pandas. And now that I have that in, I can use that variable that stands for pandas to load in the CSV that we were looking at. So we're going to use PD dot read CSV. Now, if you're using Excel, you would just read in an Excel file. And there's a lot of things that pandas can read. We want to call that, that file is called av avocado. And I don't need to specify the path because it's my default user path. Now that we have that installed, we can run the cell to bring everything in. But I want to save this as a variable like I did. I will pan this. I'm going to save it as data. And I'm going to run this. Now you can see that doesn't seem like anything happened, but we have this data variable and now we can use functions. And remember we, we have this saved as a data frame. So what happened was I pandas read this into a data frame and now I have access to data frame functions. And how we use a function is with a dot and we add the function at the end of our data frame. And our data frame is data. So let's use some functions. The first, the first function I'm going to use, I'm going to check the top of the data. So I'm going to use dot head. And like all functions, we have parentheses. And I'm going to run that. And now we can see the top of the data and the default is five, but I could add a 10 here to get the top 10 rows. The next function we're going to explore the, the data frame function is tail, which is going to show us the bottom of the data frame. And I'm going to run that and we can see the bottom rows. 
The next function you should learn is info. The show is a type of data types that we have. So dot info. Spell that wrong. So we can see we can see that we don't have any null values and we can see the data type also. Now we can do summary statistics also with this data frame. And we can do that with dot describe. Now we can see summary statistics similar to what you have in the data analysis pack in Excel. If we want to filter, which is a normal operation that we do in a spreadsheet, um, like for example, we have these columns and I want to filter average price, you can select this column. We know our data frame is called data. And all we do is put the column in brackets with the quotation. So it's called average price and it allows us to select only that column. Now what if I wanted to take average price and have anything that is over a dollar? We would just use the operator greater than greater than a dollar but this is only going to answer the question for you. So if we run this it just tells us which one of those rows meet this standard. But to, to filter that, we wrap this within the data frame. So we put another square bracket. And this will only give us the data within this data frame that is higher than $1. We can also use different operators like if right now we have two types of avocados, two types of avocados which are conventional and organic. What if I only wanted organic? So let's go down to the next line and write this from scratch. So data. We make our brackets. We know we want to select. What do we want to select? We want to select only, and let's go back up to the column name, which is type. So we want only the type that equals, and in Python equals is a double equal sign organic and let's see what our results going to be now we have only the organic information that's a short and sweet introduction into Python for people who are used to Excel let me know if you would like me to continue this in the comment section and there's also a video on how to create pivot tables in Python. I hope that helps.